Welcome to Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today, once again, we meet to speak to some interesting people about some cool things that are out there. Today on the show, we are speaking about the entertainment industry and how it's taking its um, strong grip once again in Sri Lanka after all what we have gone through in the last three years. All this and more on the show. And we have our guests on the show. I'm happy to have on the other side kept lonesome Imran Saibo. And I have Danielle La. Daniela. <laughs> I have the La a bit later. Uh, and we have Tan, who is tanned. As in other color. Yeah. <laughs> Tan. <laughs> Good that you were not given any other shade as your name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it would have been it would be tan god. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a bit of a tough thing. All right. So we're speaking about the entertainment industry and all, they all have some kind of a stake in it. So that's what we're here to speak about. Let's start with Daniela. Now, Daniela and I shared stage once for Greece. She was a little girl back then. Uh, <laughs> she played the lead role, obviously, because, you know, when you can sing and when you look pretty, you get to play the lead role. And I was playing the car, um, the Greece no. car. So just, <laughs> just saying. But um, what are you doing these days after your theatrical stop due to everything that happened? No, because yeah. you had to close those keys and throw it away. Uh, yeah. But how did you keep your singing career going? Um, so even in terms of singing and performing, that also kind of stopped for a while. But now, like you said, it's picking up. Um, and in terms of theatre, uh, I was in a production earlier this year, but nothing else after that. And I'm actually... Um, balancing my law with it so I'm just about to become an attorney at law wow. probably this month or definitely by the end of this year so yeah that's kept me busy <laughs> yeah you have to I'm sure it's easy for you to learn lyrics yes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. yeah if you can memorize all of those through with law oh gosh, yes. yeah. uh, but you come from a musical family your dad is still very much involved in music yeah. and um, what do you feel when you have to perform with him uh, for me, initially when I started, because uh, I was never ever going to pursue this as a career. Really? No. <laughs> In fact, my father was the most opposed to it. No and way. And it, yes, it never even crossed our minds that this is something that I could do until I was 19 and figuring out, okay, what, is, what am I going to do after A-levels and one day in the car, my sister said, oh, she can just sing with Dada and then... My dad, said, no. yeah. uh, my dad said no. Yeah. My dad said no. My mom thought it was the most ridiculous thing ever. I just wondered if my sister had finally lost it. Oh my god! Because for 19 years, it had it was never an option. It, like oh, it, wow. it wasn't. We never even discussed it. Really? So then it started with me. Like he didn't have any other options. I think the singer got sick the day before a big event. Uh. He had no other option. It was in peak event season. All the singers were busy, and he asked if I can fill in. Right. So it was just a one-time thing, and never again. And when I started like that, it, it was quite daunting because... Um, None of y'all wanted to do it. Y'all went, oh, we left the house <laughs> like, are you? We no, 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 not like that. <laughs> it's just, it's a it's big shoes to fill in. And, you know, would I be seen as just showbiz dot and someone he's trying yeah, to yeah. force into this industry. industry? And also, like, his credibility was at stake. So I had to make sure that I pull through because yeah. I work with some of the best musicians. So I can't let them down as well. So... Initially, it was very overwhelming, and then uh, I guess momentum kind of picked up, Pick and now it. it's, it's, I love performing with him. It's so easy. Transport is sorted. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Picked and dropped both Picked at the same. Picked and dropped. Yeah, the whole cash is for you because yeah. you don't need to waste it on fuel and all. Yeah, yeah. So, and good deal. Yeah, and obviously, I, the musicians he works with and also working with him as well, they're some of the best and so much to learn and so much fun. And, so that yeah. means you now have taken it as a career. Now the family do not have this discussion in the car. No, no more discussions in the car. <laughs> Your sister doesn't want to sing. Uh, no, not the way I do. But actually, Imran uh, put up uh, put a lineup together. Like he asked if we can do a thing where you get the three girls to sing sister Old actually, Town. Yeah, sister yeah. actually sings. Yeah, so yeah, she I'm, sings. Yeah. She likes to do that sort of thing. So I do that with her and uh, Ayushka. Yes. So yeah, so that's how she sings and right. she likes to sing in choirs and stuff, but not... She's the one who I spanked, I no? Sorry? She's the one I spanked. 
Yes. On stage. On stage, <laughs> not in reality. In character. In character. <laughs> it had a purposeful reason. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Tan, how have you enjoyed this discussion so far? Well, it's quite entertaining. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Tan, so you come from a, a line of catering. It's the best yes. thing because food makes any event. Like people will hate an event yeah. if everything is good and the food is bad. Yes. And when food runs short. Um, have you made everyone happy so far? Well, I think so. I think so far we've been uh, making a lot of people happy. We've been doing that since 1999. Yeah. And, uh, so you, it was your father who took It was my father who initially uh, formed Raffles as a catering company. And uh, ever since we've been making people happy. And have you ever catered to the parliament? Oh, no. <laughs> Good business, just giving you an idea. Yeah. Uh, we have a segment, because before we speak to Imran and speak more about this, we have a segment called Hot Seat. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Danu and we have questions. Now, Imran is a pro at it. He has been on this show, so I'm not... Uh, teaching him the ropes. Mm -hmm. You all have to answer questions and uh, you will win a gift from our friends at Crystal Luxury Wellness. Actually, Imran, we'll just give you the gift. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. um, Daniela got it. Mm -hmm. It's a service, you know. <laughs> Uncle Imran. Mm. Uh, all right, here we go. These are just very random questions because I didn't want to like personalize thing and just irritate you all. If Sri Lanka had to do a joint marketing campaign with another country, which country would you pick and why? India, Maldives. India. Maldives. Maldives. I asked the Maldives. <laughs> Describe people of Colombo in one word. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, you question. can't really categorize. I mean, one word, you get so many people, of diff like so many diverse people in Colombo. In one event, you could meet people from very different uh, uh, backgrounds and whatnot. So just. And you meet yeah. them again at every other event. Yeah, and then also <laughs> Colombo is really, really small. <laughs> you run into the yeah. same people. So the yeah. first effect is wow, and after that, ah. Yeah. <laughs> you, again. <laughs> Better be nice, they have to continue ordering from you. Yeah, exactly. Eventful. Eventful? Yeah. Imran? Acharu. What? Acharu? Yeah. Achar. Chutney. Mixed pickle. <laughs> if not for Imran, who would your next pick be to put up an event? Uh. Oh, you're, you're putting me on. Putting That's <laughs> the whole point of this game. <laughs> yeah. You're putting 10 in your spot. No? Yeah, yeah, you are putting me in your spot. Um, <laughs> Well, there are a lot of people, but... Uh, Just say it. <laughs> okay, I'll say it. Uh, I think, I hope no one holds me against what yeah, I say. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, no, only he will hold you against. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I, th I think Marisa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Marisa's yeah, a good choice. Um, I would say Rayush. Yeah, because okay. he does Imran? big events. I would say Rayush too. Okay. What are your opinions, because you're also going to be a lawyer, oh with a line, boys will be boys? No. Just no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, I mean, each sex or gender has characteristics that are stereotypically, you know, just for them. But that's not an excuse to, for, to just let any kind of behavior give it a free pass. Now, I feel very strongly about this. I can write a book about this. Right. No, that's not yeah. a good excuse. <laughs> Fine. Is it close to home for you? Yes, <laughs> it is. Indeed, I agree. <laughs> boys will be boys. Did they give it as an excuse? Are you tan? Boys will be boys, man. I think pretty much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bring up. Imran? As long as boys will be gentlemen, that's fine. Yeah. That. Gentlemen also can do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give an adjective to describe the following musicians. Romain Willis. Creative. Me? Bombshell. <laughs> Beautiful. Ashanti. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. 
fabulous. I love her voice, big voice. Music in her genes. Yeah. yeah. But, well, uh, with Ashanti, I think her voice is amazing. Yeah, so amazing. Noeline Haunter. Do you know Noeline Haunter? I don't. Not yeah, as much. That, yeah. It's from Imran Z. <laughs> Powerful. I would say timeless. She's a powerhouse. Yeah, she's a powerhouse. Ricky Baha. You speak to me? He's the Engelbert Bublé style of Sri Lanka. He's got the, he's got that kind of a voice. <laughs> yeah. Bocelli. Yeah. Amazing. All right, so I, I'm going to not crucify you on this. Yes, there are other games that you can win, but I feel that Danielle actually answered the best. Okay. Thank you. Oh, she was. Although you could reap benefits from these products, Imran. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want this gift? No, but I'm you <laughs> won the gift. Thank Although you, he you. is the one who can actually benefit from it. You're already mm. gorgeous. <laughs> Our friends from Crystal Luxury. <laughs> are, you are you saying that I'm not gorgeous? Huh? Are you saying that I'm not gorgeous? From where I'm sitting, it's not looking like that. <laughs> it's just the angle, darling. It's just the angle. It's just Let's get into a break. We'll see you right after. Can food business can be just very annoying. You can't make everyone happy, but at the same time, you need to make everyone happy. What tastes good for you can taste really bad for another person. How do you solve this problem? Well, I think uh, we look at what, in general, a majority would like. Um, as you very rightly said, you can't satisfy everybody. But when crafting a menu, we try to put in that, put in everything that someone will like. You know, so when it goes out to a majority, there'll be few people who who don't like one thing, but they like another, and that sort of you know settles uh, everything in terms of expectations on the food. What's your number one pick that people all choose? Oh, chili orange chicken. <laughs> Does Imran pick that as well? Well, Me? Imran is not very fussy when it comes to menus. No. Imran always comes See? and says, yeah. okay, you guys are pros, give us your best. Give me food. Yeah, give me <laughs> food. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, Imran, there is always this fear factor, right? When food, if it can run out at an event, you know, people, people wait for a mistake. Even if you go for a wedding, after the whole thing is done, they're like, food was really good, nah? the buffet was superb. There were two people who got married, nobody bothered about those people, yeah. but food was really good. Nah? Now, this food was really good statement is a huge thing, and especially when you do events, you don't want to annoy the people who have come, maybe the media that has come to like cover it free. You know, you want to like keep them happy with some food. It's a normal thing in Sri Lanka. So tell me, how do you sort that out? Have you ever gone short of food? Have you ever had like... Well, no. We, oh. haven't gone, we haven't gone short of food, uh, but then uh, if we ask for the catering, like say if I come to Raffles and do the catering, we haven't done, we have never gone short with Raffles. Uh, but the thing is, it's all about taste, smell, presentation, uh, everything, everything, uh, all those elements come together. So before you put it into your mouth, there's a lot of other senses that uh, come in. I think that's where they, uh, that's where they, uh, they take that extra time and trouble. Mm. It's not just into a chafing dish and thrown out. Um, and that, that's it. You have tasted it. Yeah. You have yeah. tasted it at so many of the events that you come to. I haven't hours. come for his event last year. Which one? You have apparently not invited me. Non nonsense. You came and sang at one as well. Uh, he, was, uh, he was there? He was He was there. But he went off early. He was think. around, at, yeah. He Did went off early then. Oh, uh, but you he told was at the game changes. Okay, but when I, when I came and asked you, where is Danus? Yeah, yeah. Danus. He came yeah, in and busy. Sometimes he doesn't invite me. <laughs> but nonsense. <laughs> That's a very common thing that Imran does. I give you a standing invitation to all. Only yeah. thing is, you keep asking, wanting to sing. <laughs> I mean, we've got singers there. Please tell him how I sing. He sings well. <laughs> he forces I, uh, himself on our stages. Imran, I remember him singing at the game changes. I know. Yeah, he yeah. took on the he stage. He forced himself yeah. to sing there. It is all Imran, it's okay. You okay. don't see talent. Right. Okay, okay. Come, come on for this next one. No need, it's okay. You are just, <laughs> everyone is just behind amateur talent. Yeah. You are marketing her, right, these days? 
Well, I'm not marketing her. <laughs> uh, we put together, like she said, with her sister and herself and another friend of hers, we put together something like the Supremes or mm. the Stylistics, you know, that kind of vibe. Uh, we did it at a we did it at a event, our first event. It was a hit. So obviously, if it's a hit, then you, you take replicate it to the next it event and the and next keep event. Going. Yeah, but do you know that she sings in about seven languages? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so. in vain so. if you have already known. Uh, <laughs> I have, I have max, I have, uh, ma I have heard about people who sing maximum three to four. Mm. Why did you jump to all seven? Why you just? No, no, no. <laughs> so let me just clarify. <laughs> I am fluent in two languages. That, that is, is English and Sinhala. Singhala. My mother tongue and of course English. Um, but I am, I guess, with my theatre background, also I'm quick to pick up accents. Mm. So what I do is. I, because I like to listen to French music, Latin and stuff like that. What I do is, if I find a song I like, I listen to it and try to like nail the accent. And then, of course, I have to use Google Translate sometimes to understand, understand what the yeah. song is. It could be a love song, and you can sing it like as if you're about yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So I, I need video of all videos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need Google Translate. Uh, Hindi, I'm okay with because my mom is a huge Bollywood fan, so I grew up with that. So, so you okay can also sing Hindi music. Yes. That sort of thing, but yeah, in terms of fluency, it's just uh, Sinhala and English. But I pick up the accents and try to sing it as best I can to honor that type of singing and that language. Yeah. What are the languages that you sing in? Uh, so there's English Sinhala, there's Hindi, Tamil, um, Italian, Italian, French, French, Latin. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much that is. That's seven. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about it. Yeah, he <laughs> said, what did you learn yeah. in Chinese now? Yeah, he wanted yeah. me to learn a song in Chinese, so yeah. maybe that's next. But You are in the country where you can meet a Chinese star. <laughs> that's exactly what he said. See? I, I yeah. know. But I mean, I have to be able to pick up that accent. So some accents are a bit more difficult because the pronunciation of it is so nuanced. So one, like, but one little inflection here and then you could be saying something completely different so depends on the language i guess but so far these languages are fine start singing you can get to the port city <laughs> we're going to get into yes or no we'll see you right after Welcome back to the show. Big shout out to our friends at Celeste Daily for joining us. Uh, they are new on the show. They are walking. With, they are giving out this fabulous gift for our guests to walk away with one heavy hamper full of amazing goodies. Now, Celeste Daily makes life so much more easier when you do uh, order everything from wherever you're seated, making life so much more easier. They are so quick. Within 30 minutes, it's in front of your um, house. So it's so, so, so convenient. Wherever you are, make sure that you just click and enjoy amazing deals and offers and also service from Celeste Daily. But right now, we have questions. Whoever I feel has been honest will win. I am the judge. All right. okay. That means I'm never going to win. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Have you ever fallen asleep during the act of intimacy? I think you have already won. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gotten scolded by your significant other in front of your friends? Do you have a significant other? No. Easy. No. <laughs> okay. Have you ever fallen on your face in front of people? Yes. Really? Please explain. Okay, so I was pretty drunk one night. At a party. I, I, I thought I, I got that surface, <laughs> that, and, that uh, part of the mesh I got. This was, this was when I was in, in, in Melbourne and uh, I fell flat on the tram tracks. So I was trying to get into the tram because over there you can't drive mm. when you're drunk, not even a little drunk. But I was pissed drunk and I slipped, fell right on my face and two strangers had to come and pick me up. So, um, yeah. Not a pleasant sight. Not a pleasant sight. Not at all. Was it on stage for you? I fall all the time. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm really clumsy. I guess in that way, I walk into furniture. I fall all the time. Uh, so, <laughs> have you checked your vision? I have bad uh, vision, but I don't think it's my vision. I just things are always in my way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it could also be vision. Maybe, yeah, spatial yeah. awareness, maybe. But yeah. Ibrahim, where was I when you fell? 
I don't think you were even born. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> I'm in a very intoxicated moment, long, long time ago. Oh, yeah. bang. Bang. Okay. <sighs> have you ever had strong feelings for someone who didn't have the same feelings as you? Oh, sorry. That's my life every day. <laughs> have you ever gone more than two days without taking a shower? Have you ever bullied someone? Yes. Yes. Have you ever experienced with the same sex? Have you ever imagined your own funeral? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well done. Congratulations. I must say, I have to give it to Tan. I have to give it to Tan. Okay. I was honest. Ah, the first yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a yeah. lot to say. It. Yeah. I think I that answer itself, like from then, he decided that you're going to win. Yes. Yeah. You, you, were, you, were like, you, you were born a winner with that. <laughs> you know, next time if you're feeling sleepy, just order in Celis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just make it up <laughs> for some other things. But I have to talk about uh, his better half because he's married to somebody all the way from Thailand. Yes. Correct? Yes. Let's speak about that when we do come back. <laughs> Welcome back to the show and it's a date with Danu. We are speaking about the event industry in Sri Lanka. It really needed a boost because we are taking things, uh, what can I say, nobody wanted to like get involved in it too much because of the risk factor. But now it's great to see the country is taking some kind of a strong hold in that because we need it. Because it helps so many families live out of it as well. So we need to think of, we have to think of the bigger picture at times. So let's get into that after I speak to Tan and about his love story in terms of your marriage. So what happened? How did you meet her? I met her the old fashioned way on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because now it's all Tinder and... Yeah, who yeah. wants all of that, you know? I do the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Are you on Tinder? No, no, but no. you on Tinder? No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> you know, yeah. Internationally, it's very hard to swipe right from here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? So I met her... Uh, on Facebook? On Facebook, because I was, I was very good at doing research on Facebook. Right. And I happened to be friends with one of her friends. Ooh. And then... Uh, Where did you meet her friend? Oh, through another friend. That, that's what you call networking. <sighs> Was it when you were in Thailand? No. Oh, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we met. Uh, long story short, I decided to come back to Sri Lanka. And she was like, what's going to happen to me? And was said, she in Thailand? No, we, we were in Melbourne. Ah, OK. Yeah. And then she asked me what was going to happen to me. And uh, we had to get her a visa. So it was either doing it the legal way or the illegal way, and I opted out to doing the, the legal, legal way. way. Yeah. Normally, you know, people really struggle to get married to somebody who is from Australia <laughs> <laughs> to get that visa. <laughs> yeah. So um, I said, I gave a few options. I said, hey, look here, you can come and work, or we can get married. And uh, she chose marriage. It's marriage. easier, no? Yes. It's, it's also it's also like very futuristic. Yes. Yeah. So that was the easy way out. And how many years has it been? You're getting me in trouble, I know. And, and I'm supposed to get this right. Three years and 10 months. You got married, what's the date? Wow. Um, December 16th, yes, 16th, 2019. You should be very proud. Yeah. Even if you fall asleep <laughs> after this in the act, <laughs> she will forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that's, that's good to know. Um, all right. We'll come back. Now, I have to speak to Imran. Uh, Imran, you have done multiple events. You are someone who will somehow find something to do, even if there's nothing to do. Um, and most of the time, it's to have a good time. Um, now, when brands do their launches and things like that, when they come to you, you also give them other options of creating a buzz, entertainment with it. Like, there's a full package. Up, up, Brands okay with that idea? They like, don't spend so much. I don't have such budgets. But you believe in like paying everyone the right fee? Yep. See, what you need, what is sometimes what I tell my regular clients is, tell me how much you have and let me work backward. 
right. because at the end of the day, uh, I am going to take my take whatever I'm justifiably due, but I can put more into it. And uh, for me, my passion is to create, mm -hmm. to give that vibe. So you need to, you know, profile the audience, find out who's coming, uh, what can happen there, and let it all, let it all, you know, out there. Otherwise, what happens is if you leave it to the client, he's hiring a professional to do a professional job. Yeah. So he's uh, hiring you for your services. It's like, uh, I can't sing for Toffee, but I will ask uh, Daniela to sing for, you know, one of the shows. Mm -hmm. I can't, I don't know anything about food. I will ask Dan, give me, my, give me your advice and, you know, uh, cater for me. In the same way, when the client comes to me, he's asking me, because you know, how can I ask him? Right, so I put it together and I love doing that. In the last three years, was it challenging to sort of convince clients to sort of invest or part with some cash? Well, it's been, uh, it's been an uphill task, especially after COVID, after all everything that happened here in Sri Lanka. Uh, budgets have been, you know, trimmed. Uh, budgets have been trimmed. Uh, but even if a budget is trimmed, you can get inventive. You can mm. get creative with it. Uh, in all fields. So, Yes, there are some crazy prizes being asked for these days and uh, it doesn't make sense, but that, that won't last because uh, you can only survive for so long doing mm -hmm. that. True. All right, we need to get into a break. When we do come back, our friends at MasterCard make this show possible and they have a very easy way of paying for all your transactions. Like, for example, if you're booking TAN, you can just tap TAN and go. Not tan, but yeah. I'm, just <laughs> I'm just saying raffles. Uh, oh, but yeah. it's so easy to make your transactions. Let's get into tap and go. Welcome back. So this is our game that we play with Mastercard. It's very simple. The mini tube tap. That means you get to answer first. Okay. Where do I? Where do I tap? Not on me. <laughs> <laughs> not on hand. Yeah. Tap on the machine. Ah, yeah. Not with the card, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Okay, here we go. What actor plays Ken in the 2023 blockbuster movie, Barbie? Right, right. Ryan Gosling. Congratulations. <laughs> what were Jack and Jill going up the hill to fetch? An okay. Pail of water. Very good. He said it the right way. Our people have just said water. <laughs> I can't even give options. Everyone is very quick. How old was Queen Elizabeth II when she was crowned the Queen of England? 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm going to take a shot at you. 26? Wrong. 25. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Imran, I you can do the this. 28. No, <laughs> it's 27. <laughs> oh, okay. What name is singer actor Stefani Germanetta better known by? Uh -huh. Gwen Stefani? No. Beyonce? Lady Gaga. Correct. <laughs> Which <laughs> is the only edible food that never goes bad? Cocoa, prunes, honey, Kimchi. Honey. How can I make you the winner, Imran? <laughs> I know. She's too quick for me. She is very quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Young no man. <laughs> anyway, our friends at MasterCard make life so much more easier. If you're wondering who you can book this Christmas for any of your gala events, book Imran and just tap and go because his payments could be made easy with our friends <laughs> at MasterCard. But unfortunately, Daniela wins. Imran, I'm sorry you have to share it with the young. <laughs> because anyway, you see her like a daughter, no? <laughs> you have to always give in to your children, no? Yeah. <laughs> Let's give him to a break. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Zanu. We're in conversation with a array of interesting people. A array. I would like to now start off with the wisest gentleman who is here with us, Imran. <laughs> uh, tell me, you have uh, somehow done events through all difficult times. Like, you know, Sri Lanka yeah. never had it easy. You know, we had the war, then we had tsunami. Then we, we have had the full package. You know, whatever goes out there, we get a little yeah. part to it. How did the entertainment industry sort of survive during those times? And some of the biggest shows have happened during then. It did. But then, uh, if you look at it, um, if you take the European wars in, during World War I and, sorry, during World War II, 
Britain was having so much of entertainment. People needed people needed to have that stress taken out of them. Mm. Uh, during curfew, we used to have curfew parties here in Sri Lanka. What is that? What is that? We mean? used to go. We used to uh, we used to come into a hotel, and we were actually staying there, and for all the guests there, while well, there was a curfew also. Oh right! It was a, it was a party. For the in-house guests. For the yeah. in-house guests. So there was always there. There's always a need for entertainment. It's a stress reliever. It's a it's a everything. They, that, that's always there. Yeah. So through those times, but there were some of them were very difficult times. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and and the fact that we you know we were still able to make a name internationally. We had singers who were taken abroad because it was so good. That that speaks volumes. And uh, right now those opportunities are very less for us, like it fished is. out. Yeah. Where where our entertainment people are like, wow, they're so good. Let's take them abroad. Is not happening so often like it used to. True. Yeah. Tell me about your upcoming events that are to come. Uh, we got we got things planned for the season. Uh, we got Christmas is calling, which you are forcing yourself to sing on. Say uh, the truth, Imran. Uh, you have forced me <laughs> to sing. Say it. Right, right. Okay. So uh, we got Christmas is calling coming up. Uh, we got um, we got another one called the Game Changers coming up. And then uh, uh, the game changes. Uh, Raffles is heavily involved in that one. Then we got um, we got uh, a plan, a proposed four days of Christmas at the Cinnamon Lake. Uh, it's still in the works. Uh, hopefully, it'll come through. Amazing. Yeah. All right. And now, how do you deal with difficult plans? <laughs> well, I think. Who call and say, "Oh, the shrimp was very small. We expected it to be one inch bigger." Well, uh, we try to avoid it. Uh, the shrimp being small or answering the, the call? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, in terms of uh, explaining to a client, I think our, my sales team does a very good job in explaining how big the shrimp is. When does it come to you? Like when? When does all of those things pass and eventually come to you? When, when something goes wrong. Really wrong. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, when something goes wrong, I take the blame, and when everything goes right, you team. don't take the credit. Yeah, that's that's a usual game. Yeah. What is the? F how was it when you had to, when it, when it was transitioning between your father to you? Well, he he's still my boss. He's the chairman of the board, um, and for doesn't come easy, no. He doesn't, and, and for him, I'll always be his son. So, uh, out of all the senior leadership, I'm the guy who, you know, gets called into his office. And gets, I know. A sort of, you know, <laughs> you know what it is. I know. Yeah. It's soundproof, no? It's soundproof. <laughs> <It's> good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, everything I learned about, because because I'm not from hospitality though. Uh, everything I learned about this industry was uh, from him. Uh, I learned how to cook from him. Mm. So uh, grateful that he's there. And I'm grateful that he's a part of the journey that travels is, you know. And also the fact that he has made a pathway for you to you know walk through and enjoy yeah. just like how it is for you although you never wanted music strange people uh, not that i never wanted music it, it just we never thought about it like True. that just like how option. the pretty ones don't want to be a part of <laughs> miss sri lanka <laughs> the ones who can't sing want to be singers and the ones who can sing don't want to sing yeah. you know we can't always rely on auto tune <laughs> <laughs> We have a break time when we do come back we have a very interesting segment I'm sure Imran is going to love it. Welcome back and this is one of my favorite segments and it's called King King. Is that why you were targeting me? <laughs> I think you, would, you might like it. You're the most experienced one here. All right, that's another way of saying old, but <laughs> keep going. No, but it's good. You have had the most amount of fun. Mm. Right. Imran, to you. Would you rather be with someone with no sexual experience or a ton of sexual experience? A ton. I wouldn't have to work at it. I'm not going to ask Daniela. You're too young for it. <laughs> Do you like the idea of getting tied up? 
No. Have you ever been tied up? No. <laughs> okay. You have an easy one. What is your opinion on a girl making the first move? Go for it. But uh, not all girls, I, I mean, I personally wouldn't make the first move. But uh, go for it. If you have that confidence, go for it. All right. Can we unanimously agree that Imran was good at this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You're doing a video on me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm happy that you have found... Well, who has more experience? What? Uh, in future, you said you'll want somebody with more experience. Mm, well, not really. But hypothetically. Hypothetically. You ask okay. me for a choice. Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> here is something that you can enjoy by yourself or with others mm. or even as one big family. Uh, yeah. All right. It's all for you, Imran. He didn't use the term OG. <laughs> uh, what? No, that's all right. I don't use such words on this show. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I have to say thank you to Imran for coming on the show and bringing these wonderful people as well. Uh, I wish you all the very best. Uh, keep the entertainment business going. Um, I think you give opportunities to so many people and create new people, which is a great thing. Um, you want to say anything about me? No, right? Let's move on. Uh, da Daniela, thank you for being here. Thank you and for having Tan, me. And Tan, I wish you all the very best. And all the very best. Hopefully, we will work with you more on Rafael's. <laughs> thank you for having me, Donna. No worries. Anyway, thank you guys for being a part of the show. We will see you once again. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap. Thank you. 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 Thank you.